Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you guys can see, today is extremely gloomy, rainy outside. It's going to be like this for the next like three days. And that somewhat sums up my mood for the day. But I had a couple of notes and stuff that I wanted to talk about. One, the importance of like a morning routine and just getting yourself habits of getting up, working out, whatever it is that kickstarts your day, um, do that for yourself. But a morning routine obviously sets the tone um, for your day making your bed, going to the gym, straightening up your house, all that stuff. So write down a list of things that you want to put in towards your morning routine that help you feel fulfilled in the morning and then helps propel you um, to go through the rest of the day. I wanted to talk about that. And then also I wanted to talk about giving yourself grace because I think nowadays, like a lot of people are hard on themselves. I'm hard on myself. I fall short in a ton of areas in my life. Like I'm really great at business. My personal life, I struggle with a lot of different things um, that I'm constantly trying to work on. So sometimes like you, you can be so hard on yourself that you're setting yourself back more and more and you're not celebrating the small wins every single day, whether it's taking a step that you didn't react a certain way to a certain situation or, you know, whatever it is, you're taking a step and you need to start giving yourself grace in that aspect. Not everything's going to be perfect. Not everything's going to change overnight. Um, but as long as you're taking a step forward and you're willing to put in the effort and you're not just accepting the fact that something is what it is, that's all you can do. So uh, I wanted to talk about that. So if there's any situation in your life to where you're not giving yourself grace, please do that. Um, and then, yeah, what's on the agenda for today? Today, um, it's been kind of a late start. I got to go to my office after I get done doing a little bit of yoga. And then I got to pack up some orders. Um, set up a shipment for that. I also got to write a script for the Simple Human video that I have to do for the diaper dispenser. And then I also have another script that I have to send over to Govi. Um, Govi sent over like these this lighting system, which I'm gonna show you. Oh, Lord, it's so dark. Um, let's see if I can grab it over here. So it's this lighting system right here. Um, and it's from the collaboration with Doom. So it's got like backlighting behind the TV. My boy Dio actually did a campaign with him that was super dope. And they had him on the brief, actually showing um, inspiration for the type of video that they wanted to achieve. So I'm actually gonna hit him up today and ask him a little bit about how he set that up. I have a Govi light in my room, the one that's in the corner that you see um, in my bedroom, like right when I'm pulling up the shades. I also have their kettle. So this kettle right here is theirs and it's bluetooth activated so if i have it set up um on govi i can say hey siri preheat um the uh smart kettle to 220 degrees and then it will preheat it i think i still have that set up but yeah Govi's a, a really cool company tech wise their lights and stuff are cool it's also like a cheaper alter alternative to like philips because i have philips hue bulbs philips hue is like i think like 50 to 60 dollars per bulb <laughs> So um, it's also a great alternative. I was going to run some errands because I got to go to Target, pick up some body wash, pick up some toothpaste and probably some other like hygiene products. Uh, I'm going to get that done. I was going to try to go to Nespresso because I'm completely out of pods. But if I can make it over there, I will. But yeah, next step, 
do my yoga, fit check, and then I'll talk to you guys when I get in the car. Oh yeah, huge shout out to the company that has like these pre-made meals inside of my building. This one is the steak with asparagus. They also have like pastas and stuff. So anytime that I'm running behind like today or if I'm kind of a little bit off schedule, I grab one of these downstairs and I'm able to cook it um, instead of having to come in here and cook a meal. Like I said, they have a bunch of different options. They got a whole vending machine uh, full of like drinks and stuff, harmless harvest. But these meals are clutch. So yeah, the steak and asparagus um, is definitely what I'm gonna go with today because I'm trying my best to stay on track with like my fitness. Sometimes like you'll fall off like three days and that shit will be a trickle effect. Then it'll be like a week and then you gotta get back into things. I have been consistent um, and my body is feeling good. I'm excited to see week after week and then month after month um, how I'm able to like cut down and shred back up because um, it's always like a back and forth with like fitness and stuff. I'm always like in shape, but I'm not exactly where I want to be. So that's going to be exciting. But yeah, I just want to give them a shout out uh, to these pre-made meals um, that I can literally just pop in here and then just head out. Rain on your drought, you drink me in, but you drown me out Cause you're keeping secrets, some skeletons creeping in Closets buried deep in rooms that we sleep in So I've been saving this question I fear that your answer will teach me Man, say, bro. I forgot what this little, like, ball is called or whatever. This hard ball. Bro, if you put this like, on your hip right here and put weight on it and find that spot, like, in your little hip flexor or whatever that's tight and put pressure on this, bruh. One of the most painful things, but one of the most fulfilling things. Because one thing that I learned, like, with yoga and stuff and just, like, stretching a lot of stress is held in your hips, your hips and your feet. Um, and the one time I did like a deep stretch like on my hips, and this is when I was like super flexible, bro, I felt like the greatest release ever of just like stress. They say like, if you get like a good deep stretch in like your hips, bro, you can start crying. Like no lie, like look that up. Bro, like get one of these little balls and literally like just roll out all of your hip flexors man it's a different type of pain but a different type of pleasure too uh so all right i'm done with this now i'm about to hop in the shower then get dressed i'm gonna keep it simple today black on black some sneakers and then head to my office all right kicks the day gonna go with the uh shadows because that's just the mood that we're going for watch keep it simple um get just all right quick unboxing before i head out my boy frank Got some hoodies. Um, if you guys are familiar with Frank, his Instagram is Frank Hath Mercy out here in LA. Um, he is a uh, music artist, photographer, overall just artist. He has clothing too. Right here you can see that it says Mercy. Super dope. The weight on this is dope. And then the, um, it's like a little like cropped look as you guys can see right there. And it's the raw edge, which is super dope. Um, if you guys know, <laughs> you guys particularly always see me in black if I'm just like rocking my hoodie or something else. Um, I rarely wear color just cause, I don't know, black's just like always just easy. It's a vibe. This hoodie is dope. I think the, the price was like, I think maybe like a hundred bucks or something like that. But yeah, it shipped out super fast. So if you guys want to check out Frank Have Mercy, he also has like, um, a beanie. I think that matches this with the Mercy across it. Again, just overall, just chill dude. I met him via Instagram. I've met him in person before. Um, just always vibing, having a good time. I'm a super cool guy. He's a part of the ball club too. He got his head tatted, which is crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to support the homie. So if you guys want to check him out, definitely do that. Yeah, I wanted to do that before I head out. And yeah, now nah, let's get out the door. I feel like I haven't done a cold start in a minute, so we're going to cold start and then we're going to head out. Nothing like a cold start, but I want to give y'all an update because I showed y'all the pure protein. These are the like popped crisp. Bro, these barbecue ones, they're the truth, bro. They're the truth. It's not just the packaging. They're the truth. I think I got like three, two left. 
I gotta save some for my video because I'm not gonna have any unless they ship me some more. Cool thing is they got it 12 grams of protein in there so I can just snack on this as I go to the office just to get a little bit more protein in my diet. Um, the sour cream and onion ones, they okay. Uh, they're not they're not hitting like these. And then the uh, the protein bars, the uh, the churro one, and then I tried the I think it was the lemon cake. Those are good too. They still have a little bit of that like kind of like protein bar taste at the end or like aftertaste a little bit, but it's not horrible. Um, considering like I've ate protein bars like over the course of my life, and some of them shits is just garbage. But so far, bro, these hit. So if y'all see these somewhere, pick these up. Let me know what y'all think about it. Um, so yeah, we're about to head to the office that cold start. There's nothing like it And I wanted to talk about believing in yourself and let me get my seatbelt on first Safety first. I'll I say that while driving and filming, but let's see bam Actually, let me uh, I, uh let's talk right now uh, Just the power of believing in yourself, man It goes a long way. I remember back when I first started um doing Instagram or taking it serious, going full time. Uh, side note, bro, look at this. Look at this culling. Oh my gosh. And there's a few of them in this garage. You can't even really see. Boy, that mug is clean. All right, well, back to what I was saying. That alone is just motivating. There's about like, I wanna say three or four culling in here. And my boy Kevin actually has one. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, the power of believing in yourself. I remember when I first started uh, my blogging career and shit that the like power of belief like kept me going because it was some days where I was just like, man, like this just isn't going to work out. Like stuff's not going my way. And you're always going to have those days uh, that you're down and, and not feeling your best and sometimes just want to give up. That's just a part of the journey. That's just a part of being human. Every day's not going to be your best, uh, but your belief in yourself and truly believing in yourself is what you're gonna what's gonna carry you through and also just like your daily habits um people think that like motivation is always gonna be something that you know is gonna push them through no it's really your habits every single day the motivational part like it only goes so far your body will will get up and push through in certain situations because of the habits that you build so keep that in mind um whenever you're chasing whatever you're chasing is to constantly have that belief in yourself and truly believing it because at the end of the day if you don't believe it deep in your heart and in your soul it's not gonna happen for you it's not gonna happen and that's just being realistic so anytime that I was down on myself I had to dig deep and understand like why I was doing this and understand that it was a long-term goal uh, for me to get out of the situation that I was in I didn't want to struggle to have to figure out how I pay my bills every month or budgeting on groceries and things like that, or checking my account all the time to see if it's overdraft fees and things like that. Like that type of shit, like it just pushed me to, to want more for myself. I don't wanna have to worry about those type of things. And money isn't gonna solve all the problems in the world, but it, it provides you convenience. And in this world we live in, you wanna have the most convenience that you possibly can. So just keep that stuff in mind. Whenever you're down on yourself is the power of actually believing. And I, uh, Years ago, I had to wrote down like a, a daily affirmation of what I wanted to achieve. And I, I think I remember it verbatim. Uh, I'll have $100,000 in each one of my bank accounts by the end of 2022, 2023, whatever it was through blogging, um, my marketing company and consistently showing up for myself every day. It was something along the lines of that. And I read it every single day. And it's not just about reading it. It's also about, again, believing it and making sure that you go up, uh, you get up every single day and work towards it. Again, every day is not gonna be the best. Some days you're gonna have to, you're gonna fight yourself and have to get out of bed and get to the gym or get to work and put in that extra couple of 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it is for yourself, but you'll thank yourself at the end of the day. My bad. Uh, you'll thank yourself at the end of the day for doing that. So show up for yourself now and like your future self will 100% thank you. Just wanna, Get that off my chest and say that to you guys um because i want to i want to be real and transparent as i can on here i don't want to make i don't want to make everything seem like it's like perfect or uh this shit is easy it's not um like today today was hard for me to get up and go do some of the things that i did i had some deep conversations with my friends deep conversation with my dad and i was way behind schedule but 
I still got up. I still did what I got to do. And I still going to do what I got to do, even though I don't feel the best mentally. I'm getting up and, and showing up for myself. So at the end of the day, it's a it's a win. And I had posted it on my Instagram about like congratulations or, or shout out to all the people who woke up this morning and didn't want to and still took that stuff for themselves because you won the mental battle. And as long as you win the mental battle every day, bro, you're straight. So win that battle for yourself. Um, I'm headed to the office. I might grab a coffee before I get over there. I'm gonna eat these uh, these barbecue protein chips, and then uh, I'll see y'all over there. Boy, I got some packages. All right. All right. So let's see. All right, we got some packages. Let me zoom out. Damn. We got some packages, one from one of my suppliers, and then my boy Johnny hooked me up with the packs over at Ghost. If you guys aren't familiar with Ghost, they have like um, like energy drinks or whatever. I came across the uh, Sour Patch Kid one that's like the red Sour Patch Kid, and that shit is dope. I really like it. Obviously, I ain't gonna be pounding down no Ghost every single day, but I really appreciate the package. Cause I hit my boy Johnny up. Um, his Instagram handle is Johnny. I forgot. I don't know how to say his last name, but I know him by Jayhawk. Um, that's his uh, his YouTube as well. So you guys check him out. I'll probably link him up here somewhere to give him a little shout out. But I'm gonna unbox these and let you guys know what flavors they sent me, and then um, we'll jump into packing some orders. Dandy, damn. <laughs> dandy, dandy, nice. This open my off today. They got some powerful tape on here. All right, a little ghost topper on there. Um, sheesh. This is the what pack? Strawberry mango margarita. Bruh, packaging on this is lit. Strango, <laughs> straw bango margarita. Oh, that's good. All right, let's see what other flavors. Oh, this one's inside another box. So I'm gonna have to cut that open. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then this is like, sheesh, a variety pack. Sour, I think it's sour pink lemonade. Haven't tried that. We got citrus. We got tropical mango, which is dope. These, these colors just like draw you into all of this. And then they have like different textures on here too. I think this was uh, cherry lime. I had seen um, Johnny had actually said that that's one of his favorites. Sour watermelon. I've actually tried this one, the little like warheads one. That one's dope. Ooh, Swedish fish, bro. I used to eat Swedish fish hella growing up, bro. I'm I'm interested to see if this is spot on with like the Swedish fish. I also have tried the sour green apple. I have that one in my fridge, actually. Um, I think I tried like all the warhead ones. Okay, this is the straw bango margarita that was in that pack. The Blue Raspberry, Sour Patch Kids, Bussin' Two. That's like the second one I tried. This one, I still think is my favorite. It's the Red Sour Patch Kid. You, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. And just to give you guys a little like, um, I guess the facts on this. So it's got natural caffeine, 200 milligrams, uh, four daily vitamins, alpha GC, GPC, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's supposed to be natural caffeine. And from the times that I've drank it, it's given me definitely a boost. I love coffee, so caffeine is my thing. Phase Pop. Okay, Phase Pop's a little cool little brand in it. And then Orange Cream. That's interesting. That's kind of scary too, Orange Cream? I don't know, it might be good. And then there's another box. I wonder if there's like more flavors. How many flavors do they have? Oh, this might be like, some some merch. Let me see. Oh no, damn. Thought we was gonna have some merch up in here, man. Let me see. Uh, 
This one is just a 12 pack of the sour green apple. All right. And then we got another 12 pack of the sour pink lemonade. So, damn, they sent over hell of stuff. So, really appreciate that, Johnny, for coming through because I DM'd him and I was like, yo, bro. I need the fridge stocked and my boy got me stocked so I had to make sure to show them love. But you guys can find this at literally uh, like any, I found it at Vitamin Shop, I found it pretty much anywhere you can find it, um, I'm pretty sure, at any convenience store or anything like that. I don't remember the price point of it, but my personal favorite is going to be the Red Sour Patch Kid. I'm telling you, dog. It's busting, but I don't know which one to try first. Kind of interested. I don't even know which one. I just had caffeine, so I'm gonna do this later. Cause I literally just had like a uh, single origin espresso, and I don't need more caffeine. But yeah, let's get to work. Yeah. Nine on one, Shelby Drive. Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them, dog. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. We up on the other side, niggas acting like we tied. I've been gone since late July, niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide, cause I told them. All right, finished packing up the orders, bro. I need to clean up this office. This office is a mess. Um, I was thinking that this was more like inventory and stuff that came in the other box, but it's more of my hoodies. I don't know if my supplier just decided to send me a medium and a large, which I think I talked to them about that because I was planning on launching anyway, but maybe this is my sign that I need to launch my hoodie. So I'm going to probably set up a shoot, shoot that stuff, or I'm going to probably ship it to uh, Jersey and let my, my boy shoot it and then put it up on the site um, and then launch those as quick as possible. But I think it was about like 15, 15 orders that we had come through overnight. So knock those out. Again, this place is a mess and I need to literally organize as much stuff as I possibly can. Take out this trash, which is fucking overflowing. Um, and yeah, after that, I need to do some emails and just to let you guys know, cause I talked about the energy drinks and stuff. This is what my fridge usually looks like. Got the essential water and then I also got the harmless harvest in there. And I think on Instacart, bro, I spent like $200 cause I got like a lot of boxes of the essential water. And bro, these essential waters, let me show you how big these are. Bro, these are, how, how many ounces? 50 ounces of water. I don't think I've ever seen like an essential water this big, but they literally barely fit inside of the refrigerator. I had to like lift the, uh, the extra shelf up or whatever it is. But yeah, I need to definitely clean up. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I'm pretty sure I did maybe in one of my other vlogs. My homegirl, Donye, came out with this brain bank so it's like all silver and it's got like a little hole at the top right there. And you have like your ideas, which she has these little like money things right here. You write them down and then you put them inside there. So it's just a cool little thing that she created. And speaking of um, more vloggers, cause I shouted out Phil on the last one. I'm watching my boy Lo right now. He dropped like an hour long vlog which I'm like an hour and 12 minutes into it. An hour and 30 minutes, actually, like a week in life. Killed it, bro. Definitely killed it. He got like a, uh, the cold tub and stuff that I have. Uh, he's really enjoying it. Appreciate the shout out on that. And yeah, let's uh, get into cleaning up this mess. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fucked up, I'm gonna be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not to blame, man. This fucking industry is cutthroat. I'm not the same, man. And I could let you check the tag now. I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags now. I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the whoop. 703 I fives. Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side. Now they on the other side. All right, so it's like 5.50. And I'm just now eating these. Um, pure protein, like little chips. 
Well, I'm hungry, but I got the cleaning and stuff done because that definitely needed to happen. I think I'm gonna probably head home and finish the rest of my work because one, it's raining and the later it gets, the darker it gets and people in LA do not know how to drive. When it's raining outside, I need to write out the concept for um, a simple human and also the concept for Gobi. So yeah, I think I'm probably gonna head home. And before I head home, I do wanna talk about why I started like this e-commerce business that you see right here. Uh, I think I may have mentioned this in the previous video, but I started the Creature of Habits because one, my content on Instagram, short form and stuff like that, and some long form on YouTube is centered around men's hygiene and lifestyle like habits. And what I was doing is like, I had all this stuff linked on my Amazon list and it would get bought, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times. And a lot of this stuff like scrubbers and stuff like that, you can white label this stuff yourself and be able to sell it. Um, and I'm only getting like 3% commission from Amazon, which is nothing. I think I would sell like, you know, I think one time I sold like $100,000 worth of stuff and you only really get like $3,000 commission. Not to say $3,000 isn't a lot of money, but from 100 bands of items sold, that's just crazy. Uh, so yeah, I started sourcing my own um, products and stuff uh, through suppliers. And then obviously I went in and designed like my own stuff too, like our fitness gear, uh, my hoodies, and then got into other things too, like the yoga mat that I wanna launch and the, uh, the soap dispensers, travel bags, all that different stuff. I just continue to branch off and be able to build something that I don't particularly promote like every single day. I think we're almost at like 10K followers on Instagram, actually, let me check. Um, we're still at, yeah, 9,105 followers. And I haven't posted, <laughs> I haven't posted on the page since December 28th, 2023. We still make sales. Um, I obviously want to get more consistent on there because I was, it's just, I've taken a little step back um, on promoting and stuff like that, but we still do get sales. I need to ramp up the ads on, um, on Facebook and then some of the um, UGC content and stuff that we got from creators back in the day, I can rerun those on ads because the more stuff that we add on, the more stuff that people can buy, the more essentials, all those different things and the more we can expand the company. So it is something that I'm looking to like grow. I just haven't been able to put as much time as I would like into it, but I am getting settled back in and basically like transitioning, transitioning from New York or New Jersey to here, it took a lot of energy. Like it took a lot, it just was like sporadic, boom, up, move. And then like getting settled in, like I just never really got settled in. Then I got my office and like, it just, I don't know, it kind of fell to the side. I was still getting the orders and stuff out, but I wasn't pushing it as much as I wanted to. And I need to get back to that. And I'm telling you guys, this is because like when you grow a personal brand, you also can start companies off of that as well. If it fits perfectly aligned with what you have going on, it'll kind of sell itself. I don't really need to go like sell, sell, sell. If people want to check it out, like if I'm packing orders and want to go check out what the business is and they order something, cool, that's great. But I want the brand to kind of live on its own and be its own thing um, as well and be able to generate sales outside of just myself. And that's where advertisement comes in and that's where you know, the UGC content, all that great stuff. But yeah, um, I've enjoyed this company. It's come with its like, you know, challenges as far as like when I first started, I wasn't anticipating like running out of scrubbers so fast, but I also didn't understand or realize that I was putting a certain scrubber in each package um, that was in like every single, you know, bundle or whatever, and it was gonna go quicker. So I wasn't ordering um, fast enough with lead time for the product to get here. And by the time I did that, it already like sold out and I had to put stuff on back order. I've learned my lesson with that. Um, and also just understanding that shipping some stuff by air and then some stuff by sea, that way when all of this stock depletes, other stuff would be coming by sea, it's cheaper. There's a lot of different things that I've learned over the process. And I learned most of this stuff from my friend Kevin's Amazon FBA course. I haven't even launched my FBA product, but I did learn how to communicate with suppliers and be able to launch my own stuff. Obviously you designed a website. I've done that for a number of years um, through my marketing company. I've designed 
um, a lot of different um, websites. We've designed logos, personal branding, all that different stuff. So that comes pretty easy. Um, and then figuring out like a, um, a shipping system too. Took a little while to figure out box sizes, how I wanted to package it, what was gonna go in there, the car, all these different things come into to play. And then they also cut into like profit margins, which our profit margins on this stuff is, is pretty high, it's from 60 to 80, depending on um, what item it is. And I keep it very like fairly priced and all items over like $50 is free shipping within the US. So yeah, um, I think I'll talk more about that detailed in like another video that's maybe dedicated to that, but I did wanna talk about that because you guys do see me in my office quite a bit and sometimes I speak on it, but I don't know if I would give you guys a lot of detail of why I started it and how it's been going. Um, but yeah, I think the highest month that we um, made as far as sales, I think was around twelve to $13,000, which is good because even without promoting, we on average do around like five to 8K, which is cool for just like a side business. Just imagine if like you really, if I really, really like focus on it, we could do 15K months easy because we have products and stuff that are um, very like much needed in people's daily lives, travel lives, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I am going to probably pack up here and head home. Uh, actually, no, I gotta go by Target, pick up the um, hygiene stuff that I need. So I'll check in when I get there. We'll talk about a couple of hygiene things and I'll probably close out the vlog there um, and start editing this vlog so I can put it up for you guys. All right, just made it back to the crib. I'm about to head out. Um, actually, a uh, company hit me up, FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot is a like desk company slash like office supply company. And it's all the desk and stuff that I have. The one that I have in my office here and also the ones at my office at, um, my office. That doesn't even make sense. The desk that I have in my office. But um, yeah, they hit me up to do a YouTube collab. I think they have a new chair coming out, which the chair that I have at my office, which I said at my office fucking a million times, is like from Amazon. It's okay, but I really have more back support because like the one I have here is a lot more expensive. It's from, I think it's from Autonomous. But yeah, um, I think that's probably the first YouTube collab that I'm accepting. I've had a few offers, but it really just doesn't make any sense for me to do it um, as far as like the compensation and stuff like that and fitting it organically into my content. So that's great. I think I got, I need to get my wallet. Hold on. I need to get my wallet and then we can head down here and boy, it is foggy outside. Yeah, head down here. Let me throw this box away while I head out. Boom. Do I have my phone? Oh, shit, I hope. Oh, damn. Bro. I literally just locked myself out of my apartment. Because I definitely don't remember the like code on my door to get it. I'm definitely gonna have to tell somebody downstairs to, to let me in my fucking apartment. All right, so my apartment's got me right because I can just type in the code that they gave me to get back into the apartment. But that's the only thing about not having like a key is that <laughs> if I forget my phone inside of my house and I don't remember the code to the door, which I've never used, um, definitely can't get back in because there's no buttons on our elevator and no shit like that. You have to literally scan everything through this app, which is great for security and stuff like that. But um, I am walking over here to go to Target, which this weather is ghetto. I didn't move from Jersey to be dealing with this shit on a consistent basis, which is gonna be raining like three more days. I moved from Jersey to be out here with warm weather, sun, all that great stuff. And I guess it's a El Nino year is what people are saying. And it's supposed to rain, which I guess California needs it, whatever. But I didn't move here for this. I moved here for sun times and all the great stuff that LA has to offer which everyone thinks LA is like great, but at the same time, it's low key ghetto. But I'm gonna head to Target and I'll check in when I get there. Oh yeah, side note, the reason I made my company is so y'all can throw these shits away. Don't be washing yourself with loofahs in this terrible back scrubber. Make sure y'all check out our stuff because this just holds bacteria. But anyways, let's see if we can find this body wash, which I think they'd be having it locked up because niggas be stealing. 
yeah, they do. Let's see. Excuse me, bro. Not to bother you. Can I grab this method body wash right here? Thank you. Go ahead. You're good, bro. You got a cart. Appreciate you. Perfect. Let me grab two of these. All right. Cool. Thanks, bro. That was quick, easy, on time. Now I need to go get some toothpaste. Uh, let me see. I don't know where their toothpaste is. I usually don't get it. But I'll show you all the actual. Let me show you the body wash real quick. Because this is the body wash I always get. And most people, damn. Ah, let's see if I can squeeze this underneath here. All right, bet. Method. This is the way to go. This one, sandalwood, don't know how to pronounce that bottom one, but method is good for the simple reason that it lathers well. A lot of people will buy like a three in one body wash and that shit does not lather the way that it's supposed to. And that's 100% on y'all. So I'm putting y'all on game. That's definitely the route to go. Let me see if they got Tom's here, which I don't. Oh, they actually do have it. Go ahead, bro. Um, yeah. Got to call a team member for this one, too. Sir, you can't be recording. Oh, apparently you can't record in Target. All right, so I'll catch y'all later. All right, so apparently you can't film in Target, which makes no sense because the dude that got me the, uh, the what's it called, the body wash, didn't say nothing. So what's the company policy? Can you record or can you not? They need to get it together. But I got the stuff I need, Tom's toothpaste, if y'all want to check it out, and then a Method body wash. Is the way to go and i'm gonna close out the vlog here before another target employee decides to say you can't film in here <laughs>